Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of the Capitalize Your Best Real Estate Marketing Podcast. My name is Gordon Duncan. I'm the owner of Capitalize Marketing and Consulting, where we help you capitalize on what you do best to grow your revenue. And I'm honored to serve the real estate industry across the board in enabling them to do their own marketing better. And then, of course, support them and come alongside them as a coach and agency. Welcome back, guys. This is episode number nine. We're building traction in that traction is due to you guys. Thank you. Your likes, your listens, your comments, your shares, your subscriptions, they mean so much. And if you are receiving any sort of benefit, if you're enjoying this in any way, I could ask only two things. Could you like and subscribe and then share it with someone? That would mean so much. But guys, thank you. Last week, we talked about how to choose educational resources. I got some follow-up, you guys, about um, books or podcasts continue guys if we again learners are earners readers are leaders when we stop learning we stop earning it's always the case we can't believe that we already have all the resources we need for every single change in every single obstacle we have tons you guys are bright smart people but we got to continue to add resources i hope last week helped now Again, here we are. This is, you'll be watching this on the 10th of January, which to many people is National Quitting Day. No one ever says that, but typically by the 10th of January, most goals and resolutions have already fallen by the wayside. I don't want that to happen to you. What I want to do is I want to set you up for real estate success in 2024. So if you're an agent or a realtor, a mortgage lender, if you're a title, if you're an investor, if you're an in insurance, if you're involved in the real estate industry in any way, I want to set you up for success. Now, again, if you're listening to this on the 10th, tomorrow, the 11th, I'm actually having a seminar hosted by Clearview Title here in Fredericksburg called Setting Yourself Up for Real Estate Success in 2024. The registration link is in the show notes. You can be there in person or you can watch it virtually. I'd love to have you there. But let me give you some practical takeaways. This will serve both as a preview for tomorrow and it's also going to be something right now that will be beneficial for you. There is an expression that shows up in so many different fields. It's called willing and able. Ready, willing, and able. Have you ever heard that? But to be ready, willing, and able. When you are considering setting yourself up for real estate success in 2024, not only do you have to be ready, willing, and able, you have to market to people who are ready, willing, and able. Let me speak about that both to you and to your target audience. What does it mean for you in the real estate profession to be ready, willing, and able? First of all, ready means that you are preparing yourself for success. How do you prepare yourself for success? Well, what that means is you prepare every single day to be a real estate professional. You do that by how you equip yourself, what you're reading, what you're listening to, what you're learning about the industry and what's going on and uh, what's going on in terms of like rates and offers and that kind of, are you getting smarter every single day? Are you walking out the door ready? Are you dressed for your target audience? You know, are you looking for connections of people you can serve? Because the real estate industry is a service industry. Are you ready? Do you preach, you know, guys, I can help you. Do you present yourself as I am a person you can trust? Are you preparing, knowing that you are as much as you can be the smartest person to take care of those people? Are you ready? Willing. Willing means that you're fighting you are fighting that temptation and that tendency to not work very hard. Guys, I get it. We all want to work smarter and we all want to work smarter and not harder, but you can do both. You can work smartly and work hard. Like, are you willing? Are you like, yes, this is what I'm doing. This is where I'm growing. This is either my full-time profession or this is something I'm doing significantly that I am willing to put in the work. This industry right now, it, because of what we've gone on with the rising interest rates and rising prices and the difficulty people have getting loans, it makes the willingness more difficult. Are you willing? Well, if you, I will tell you this. If you're preparing yourself with the ready, it's going to make you more willing. And then finally, are you able? Are you the person who can help them? 
Do you have the skills, the knowledge, the willingness? Are you able? Like right now, are you in a situation and you're like, well, I'm not with the busyness of my full-time job or the busyness of family. I'm not really able. Okay. Then you're in a preparation phase. But if you are able, then now is the time to put yourself out there in terms of your marketing. Are you ready? Are you willing? And are you able? Guys, right now, I want this to be the pump up for you. I want 2024 to be the most amazing real estate you've ever had, but you've got to, excuse me, you've got to be ready every single day. You've got to prepare yourself. You got to be willing. You got to fight the tendency for laziness or the tendency to not work hard. You got to show up and you got to work hard every day and you got to be able to do it. You got to be the person when you have the opportunity that can close the deal and actually serve your potential clients. So first of all, are you ready, willing, and able? But let's look at the other side. Let's look at the marketing side because no one knows who you are. No one knows who I am. The only way people know who I am is if I put out massive amounts of good content to my target audience. That's it. You got to do the same. So are, are you targeting to people who are ready willing and able. You see, right now, there's a lot of people who are not ready to buy or sell a home. There are people who are not willing to buy and sell a home, and there are people who are not able to. So what that means for your marketing is you've got to speak to those people who are ready, willing, and able. You've got to get in front of those people who are ready, willing, and able. That means when you're doing your in-person networking, are you spending time with people who are actively looking to buy or sell a home? If they're not, then what you have to do is you have to convince them to do it, which is the long road to sales. You might be able to, but then you better be ready, willing on your end. You will have a greater success in 2024 if you are speaking to people who are ready, willing, and able. And if you say, well, how do I get in front of them? First of all, ask yourself, who are you in front of now? If you're spending time with people who are not ready, willing, and able, you're spending time in the wrong target audience, okay? If I teach swim lessons, I'm not spending time in the desert, okay? I'm not. I'm not. If I'm teaching swim lessons, I don't spend time in the desert because I can't find my target audience there. So for your marketing, speak to the people who are ready, willing, and able. Share with the people who are looking to do this. But I find amazingly, when people are doing their face-to-face -face networking, that they're spending time with people who are not going to buy or sell a home this year. So then it's up to you to find them and network with them. And you know what I find that means often? It means putting yourself in new environments, putting yourself, uh, find yourself in a service industry, find yourself in networking groups that have people who have good jobs, you know, if you're in a networking group and no one in there is making good income, they're not going to be your target audience. And so when you are out during your day, you're working. And so you're networking and you're spending time with people who've got to be with people who are ready, willing, and able, or you're literally, now granted, you might get a referral, but typically spend, people spend time with people very much like them. You know that we typically make the same amount of money as the five people we spend time with most. So when you're constantly spending time with people who aren't going to buy or sell a home, they're typically around people who aren't buying or selling homes. So you got to keep doing that. Where are they? Well, they're in high network, I mean, net worth networking. They're in charitable organizations. They're in service organizations. They're in government organizations. And that's where I encourage you to spend time. And then in your marketing online, speak to that. Speak to the people who are ready, willing, and able. And if you've put yourself together and you're educated and you're able, then they will see you as that person. Guys, you want to set yourself up for success this year? You be ready, willing, and able. And then you network and spend time with people who are ready, willing, and able. And that's going to convert into success. Guys, this is just a preview of what you're going to see in the seminar tomorrow. And if you are listening to this after the 11th, reach out to me and we'll talk about getting you a copy of the seminar and I'll follow up with you. So guys, in the show notes, you will find the registration link. This wonderful seminar is sponsored by Clearview Title here in Fredericksburg, Virginia. It's going to be a great group of people. I'd love to see you in person. I'd love to see you online. And guys, I can't wait to speak to you again next week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.